to another episode of Vet Talk. I'm Brother Vince and I'm an Army Veteran. And today we will be talking about how to apply for Veteran Burial Allowance. But before we get into that, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You can find more content from Vet Talk on YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Reddit for more content. And to all veterans who would love to share your stories or resource for veterans and non-veterans who would love to share your resource for veterans, please feel free to contact me ASAP so we can schedule the meeting. Now that we got that out the way, let's get into this topic. So again, we're going to be talking about how to apply for the veteran burial allowance. This allowance is very important for those who are in this situation right now and who can potentially be in this situation in the future. Are you a surviving spouse, child, or parent of a veteran who passed away? If so, you may be eligible for burial allowance to help cover the cost of their funeral and transportation. This benefit is also available to executors or administrators of the veterans estate. To qualify for the burial allowance, the veteran must have received an honorable discharge and met one of the following circumstances. They must have died as a result of a service-connected disability, died while receiving VA care, died while traveling with proper authorization, either to or from a facility for an examination or to receive treatment or care, died with an original or reopened claim from VA compensation or pension pending at the time of death, died while receiving a pension or compensation, died while eligible for a VA pension or compensation at the time, but instead received full military retirement or disability pay, if the veteran meets one of these criteria, you may be eligible for burial allowance up to $2,000 for a death occurring on or after September 11, 2001. For a death occurring before that date, the allowance is up to $1,500. In addition to burial allowance, you may be eligible to receive for a plot or intimate allowance to cover the cost of gravesite and intermits. The VA also provides an allowance for the cost of transportation. The cost of transporting the veterans remains for burial in a national cemetery. To apply for these benefits, you'll need to fill out an application for burial benefits VA form 21P-530EZ and provide copies of the veteran military discharge paperwork. Death certificate and any documents are receipt related to the cost of transporting their remains. If you are a surviving spouse listed on a veteran's profile, you do not need to file a claim as the VA will automatically pay a set amount to eligible surviving spouses. It is important to note that there is a two-year time limit to file a claim for a non-service connected burial allowance. If a veteran discharge was changed after death from dishonorable to another status, you may file for an allowance claim within two years after the discharge update. If you have any questions about applying for burial benefits and need assistance with your application, you can call the VA at 800-827-1000. Again, that number is 800-827-1000. Or you can also dial 711 Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or contact your nearest VA regional office. Losing a loved one is never easy, and the added stress for funeral and burial costs can be overwhelming. The VA allowance and other benefits are available to help ease the burden and provide support during this difficult time. So as you can see, this is the actual website that I'm gonna put in the description box so that you can get the proper assistance that you need with for the allowance. And this site has all kind of great information for you so that you don't have to go through this alone. So please feel free to reach out and get the assistance you need. And as always, this has been another episode with your boy, Brother Vince for Vet Talk. Vet Talk out.